it started with being able to go to the Wichita Art Museum when I was that kid, you know, being able to take art lessons and thinking, this is so fascinating. I wanted to be able to make a picture that would have that effect on somebody. That you feel like they could actually connect with me. Maybe I could connect and communicate with people. Bill Gaufrier is a local painter known best for his series on Wichita's architecture and history. I decided I'm going to call this series Authentic City. My goal was to stick with urban subjects and celebrate Wichita. In the past eight years, he has painted over 250 iconic subjects from the area. This guy here will be 281. But this creative journey hasn't always been an easy one. Came back here on a mission to help my dad, end of life care. Along that path, I literally like, just like became non-functional after his death. And you know, m the immediate assumption w might be that it was extreme grief. Doctors were like, no, we don't think that's it. And my symptoms w were so bad that I spent most of the time in bed. I wasn't painting. After months of confusion, Bill finally got the answers he was searching for. This, there's no other explanation. This is West Nile virus from a mosquito bite and there's no treatment for it, and you just hope that you're one of the ones that get over it, because some people don't. Once you have this virus, it's in your system. It was very debilitating uh, getting West Nile virus. The art teacher of over 15 years now found himself retiring early due to the effects of West Nile. Well, this is my best form of relating to the world. If I can't make this work with art and you know what am I going to do I'm not good at anything else it turned out I never could return to the classroom after the six weeks that I was virtually bedridden and trying to regain some strength I finally got up the nerve to come back to my easel and try a painting that was therapeutic and nourishing and relaxing and I found that I could actually sit here for hours and paint and my mind work and I could tell that like th this is like a healing process to me and it was so motivating you know I kept at, I made it a daily thing 2018 turned out to be like my most prolific year of this whole series since finding his passion once again Bill has gone on to heal grow and create in remarkable ways and he has no plans of stopping. Venmo's bad. This is a pretty obvious message to me from somewhere outside of me that this is what I should be doing, this is what I have to be doing.